Good morning, everybody. I'd like to first of all thank each and every one of you for having me here today to come to speak at Friends Day. My name is Juanita Robinson, and I am a native Austinite. I was born here in Austin, Texas um, in 1961. You know, I know it's unusual for people to tell their age, but that, that's what it is. <laughs> anyway, my life is, you know, not all that exciting, but I, I have, uh, I am thankful for the opportunity to come here to Austin Grad to study. It, yes, it was very rigorous. You know, I work full time. You know, I work in Texas government. I've been in Texas government for more than 25 years. I, I manage a document management area, that, three distinct areas um, with people and processes, and, and I manage a budget in excess of $5 million a year. So I am very busy. So, uh, but again, my life is not that much different from many other women. I am a, a mother. You know, I have my daughter Shannon here with me today. I am a wife, I am a niece. I've been married to my husband Gerald for more than 24 years and right. you know, we're so proud to have our daughter. And you know, life has been, it's been challenging. Mm -hmm. But being here at Austin Grad has been a wonderful opportunity. I've learned so much. My husband and I were talking about this just the other day. Uh, we had come back from Disney World. We had traveled by car. <laughs> to Orlando, Florida. And on the way back, we stopped at uh, my mother-in-law's house. She lives in a little town called El Campo, Texas. And I ran into a, a gentleman on the television and he was preaching, teaching rather. And from that time in 2010, I picked up the Bible and I started reading it continuously. I read through scripture, the, the Bible from start to finish, twice. And I remember talking to my husband about, I don't know what's driving me to do this. Why am I at stop signs with the Bible in the seat? You know, why am I, you know, what is driving this? And just the other day, now that we're here at graduation, now it's all making sense, you know, to ministry, to help others to understand, you know, who God is and, and why we're here and the redemptive plan. So now it's soul sort of making sense, but what we don't know now is what's next. <laughs> I do know that I'll continue working in state government yet for a while. You know, God is in control, so I can only say what my plans might be. You know, my plans are to continue to work until possibly 2020 for state government and then look forward to ministry possibly full time or sort of full time. <laughs> so anyway, because I don't really, really want to commit to anything if, that I have to be there at 8 o'clock. Can't do it. <laughs> Cannot do it. <laughs> Too much of that. I learned about the school through, I attend a, a St. James Missionary Baptist Church and our little church has a um, Center for Biblical Studies. And so I met Malartha Bozier there and also another man, I don't know his name, but when you go to you guys' website, he's there looking at, I think he's in the library. You all may know who he is, but I met him there. So they told me about the school. I actually attended Malartha's uh, graduation, and I think it was in about in 2013. So, um, and I was impressed with the school. I think I audited the first class doctorship, Story of Israel class. I took the test. I did. I took each exam because I. I you passed. I, thank you. Yeah. I wanted to see if I could do it. It's like, because it had been a long time since I had been in school. I didn't think I could really do it, but I did it, you know. And so then from there, I just wanted to go and learn more. So I was already hooked on the book, you know. I was already hooked on the book. So I said, I want to go to this school now so that way I can learn the story of Israel and Paul's letters and Acts and, you know, all of that. So it's been, one, it's been, a, it's been a blessing. And I thank you so much. It would have to, I would be remiss if I didn't talk about our trip to Israel. You know, Mrs. Ship and I just had a laugh just a minute ago about the cab ride that we had from, <laughs> you know, Garden of Gethsemane back up to the, the to the um, place we were staying, and so that was interesting. We we can laugh about it now, but it was not fun to get the time. <laughs> you know, Sharif was not happy. It's like we get to hold on, you know. Don't shoot him yet. Let's see if we, you know, just hold, just hold on. Let's see if we get through this without, you know pulling out the big guns. But anyway, uh, that, was, that was a wonderful opportunity. So I am a graduate here for, for May in uh, 2017. I would very much like to continue the MATS program. I very would much like to do that. So I'm working on my admissions packet now and getting all of that to you guys. So, um, so anyway, how I, I plan to use it in the future is now with our church, I am currently working with the new, the new members the people that come in to the church and they've decided that they want to fellowship with us. 
And so we want to make sure at that point that they understand the salvation. You know, it's, salvation is not in a building. You know, it is through confessing that Jesus Christ is our Lord. And we want to make sure that they come into our church understanding that. Uh, further plans that I have in the ministry at the church is to continue with the new members orientation, um, performing uh, new member orientation classes such as salvation classes, stewardship, and you know, and making sure that people understand the Christian faith. So we'll move forward with that. Um, a, a broader goal that I have is to apply here in the summer uh, for the clinical pastoral program through Seton Hospital. I am interested in becoming a chaplain and that's going to be hard work. So pray for me on that. Um, it'll be an extended program um, where, again, I don't want to commit to anything full time, you know, so it will be, you know, on a part time basis. But those are those are my goals. And again, I, I can only say what I what I plan. God is sovereign. He is control. He has the ultimate decision about how the, my ministry through Christ Jesus goes forward. Again, I want to thank you all for having me here today. I have enjoyed meeting many of you. It's, it's great to put a face you know, with, with the name. So I thank you for having me today and may God bless us all. <laughs>